Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Janelle Novel, and this is your Midday News Brief. The Commonwealth Association of Tax Administrators, CATA, is currently holding a conference under the theme, The Future of Tax, which explores, among other issues, what the tax policy environment will look like in 2025 and beyond. Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs and the Public Service, the Honourable Alan Chastney is currently attending the two-day conference in London, along with St. Lucia's High Commissioner to the UK, His Excellency Guy Mears. The conference began with opening remarks from the Right Honourable Patricia Scotland, Secretary General of the Commonwealth, and featured speakers in the areas of tax competition, the move towards a cashless society, and the implications for tax, as well as the issues of cooperation between tax, customs, and financial intelligence units in counteracting illicit financial flows. The CATA conference is being held in conjunction with EY and the University of Vienna. CATA, which was established in 1978 by a decision of the Commonwealth Finance Ministers, helps member countries through conferences, training programs, publications and knowledge sharing to develop effective tax administrations that promote sustainable development and good governance. 46 Commonwealth countries are currently active members of CATA. While in London, the Prime Minister is also expected to hold several meetings with investors and St. Lucians living in the UK. In the Prime Minister's absence, Honourable Leonard Montoot, Minister for Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment, serves as Acting Prime Minister. Hundreds of St. Lucians benefit as work continues on the first phase of the Pearl of the Caribbean. An impressive amount of work is continuing on the horse racing track, which forms part of the first phase of the Pearl of the Caribbean development in Beaufort. The first phase of the track includes a world-class racetrack with turf and dirt courses, quarantine facilities, a polo field, barns, and a veterinary clinic. Over 200 St. Lucians have been employed on the first phase of the project, along with 15 local contractors. More business and employment opportunities will be created in the coming weeks, with an estimated 500 jobs being created for locals as the town centre development phase of the project commences. Very soon, a training program will be conducted focusing on maintenance and administration of the track, as well as training in hospitality, grooming and caring for the first set of horses, which will be arriving on the island before the end of the year. The Department of Fisheries, in commemoration of Caribbean Fisher Folk Day, commonly referred to as Fisherman's Feast, will be hosting a fisher's clinic under the theme Gender Equity and Ocean Health Supporting Access to Markets for Small-Scale Fishers. The event is hosted in collaboration with the Castries Fishers Cooperative, A1 Island Marine Supplies Inc. Mercury and KP Marine Supplies Yamaha. The Fisher Clinic will target fisher folk and will be unveiled as a series of interactive booths providing information on the economic and the safety benefits of proper outboard engine maintenance. The Fisher Clinic will also be promoting health and wellness screening and information to fisher folk. This event is an opportunity to foster and strengthen relationships with fisherfolk and other industry partners, as well as promote improved lifestyle through health and wellness among fisherfolk. Highlights of the event include tips on how to do it yourself engine repair, free engine diagnostic test, Fisher Cooperative membership drive, free health screening and testing, financial planning tips tips to reduce marine pollution, tips to maintain fish quality, hygiene and sanitary practices. Fishers and the public are encouraged to attend the event on June 26, 2019 from 10 a.m. at the Department of Fisheries Car Park Point Surfing Castries. That's all for the Midday News Brief. Thanks for tuning in.